I can't get can't get much better than that right there. Hey everybody, Chance Priest. I am back again to do a little toy safari. In. We were uh, back in the back here going through some boxes, and uh, and I said, man, you know. Uh, I don't remember pulling this stuff up for a long time, so I say, well, it's as good as time as any. Everybody's always asking me to make some more videos, so I thought, like, hell, I'll make another video and I'll show y'all what we get out of this box. This is pretty juicy and I hadn't seen a lot of it in a long time. You know, vinyls and kaijus and stuff like that. But um, anyway, right off the bat is some uh, a stack of blow-ups, which are from the 70s. Here's a, a Spectre Man which I love Spectre Man. There is a, a big-headed Ultraman. He's like a uh, super deformed, jumbo-headed. Uh, at one time, I thought I was going to collect like every one of these blow-ups in the world, but you know you know how that goes. You can't find them for a while, and it kind of leaves you out in the rain. But uh, there's, a, there's a big old uh, uh, moon mask guy, Gecko Cayman. Um, why not throw a 70 Spider-Man in there with it? Man, that's cool. Uh, it's, it's just full of all kinds of stuff. This is something we were just remarking about how cool it was. What's this? Uh, U.S. Toys, uh, set. And when U.S. Toys first came out, that's when I was buying stuff from them. And this is a pretty cool six. It's got, um, ball tan and then a, a clear ball tan and then a flying Ultraman. And I thought that was uh, that was really, really, really cool. Uh, so, I mean, and I'm not a big U.S. toys collector, but that, that's pretty darn cool. Uh, I had my old helmet I found in here. My old... My old... <laughs> my, my old uh, uh, Red King helmet from the 70s. Man, that sucker's mint. I mean, mint shape. But that vinyl's hard, too. But anyway, that's a big old helmet. That thing needs to go on my shelf in my my toy room. Now here's a here's a bootleg helmet that's like soft vinyl. I don't know if that's latex, but I don't think so. It's like a real so no, it's a soft vinyl helmet. But that sucker's cool. I'm not sure. You know who they were trying to bootleg with that thing? It kind of looks like it could be a, a Baragon type thing. Yeah, I guess with them ears and everything. Anyway, a lot of horns, a lot of a lot of action there. Uh, this thing's just like a Heinz 57 box. So, uh, there's a medium sized, uh, ace killer from Bullmark from back in the seventies. That's a cool sucker. I always like that medium size, that stumpy, weird, ain't quite right look to it. You know, uh, here is, a. I guess my glasses would have helped to have today, but I think that's a marmot. And I don't know what creature that is, but that's a big marmot creature. So uh, I, I can't help but like it. I'm not crazy. That color palette, it all blends in with me. I don't know if that's pink or silver and yellow, green. I mean, it's got it all. But anyway, it's cool. Sh champagne. 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 Uh, so that was a freaking cool sucker. A uh, lot of Nito in here and i don't mean like neato i mean like neato uh there is an original uh gauss and that thing's uh, killer I, I i love my my gamera stuff as much or more than anything on earth i love that damn look at that look at that uh jogger anyway these are all the neato ones from the 70s and I, I, I thought I had just lost it. We had that big move this last year, and I just lost so track of so much stuff. There's a medium-sized um, Gamera that I just think's incredible. I love how much yellow they put on that sucker. And he's cool as heck. So, let's see. What we got after that? This, I think, y'all correct me if I'm wrong. Ain't that a prototype or something of a Hedra? Anyway, I had this thing since it was brand new, and it had to be what, 15 years or 20 years ago. I don't know, but I've had it a long time, and uh, he's been hiding in this box, but, man, he's out 
he's out of the box now. That's a cool sum buck right there. That that's one. Uh, if you ain't got one of them, you need one because that just. But it's gonna take up a big chunk of collection because it's so damn big. I'm running out of room to put stuff, but it's uh, it'll it'll all work out. Here's another uh, another Nito, Nito, um, Virus, Virus. I'm I'm having a good brain day. I just ate some barbecue and uh, some spicy sausage, and I. It makes my brain work better. <laughs> Here, I don't know this guy from Tiger Mask, but there is a uh, Tiger Mask guy. He's the rainbow guy. I don't know. He's cool. I got all my Tiger Mask stuff over there, so I don't know how he made it over here. Um, here's a great little Planet of the Apes bootleg spaceman that, I mean, if you don't like that, you can't like nothing on Earth because that's just cool. Uh, Here's a bag of nothing. This guy's super cool. He is a cross between like He-Man and a space guy. But I mean, look at that big sucker. That's about 20 inches tall. And and good God, who don't love that? I love, I mean, look at him. But look at the, the evil eyebrows. You know, holy shit, man. I mean, he, he, <laughs> I love that. Uh now here is a Darth Vader bootleg, saber in hand, and uh, ready to go. Got his trash bag cape on and everything. Um, you, anything with Darth Vader, I, I, I eat that up. Uh, I'll be damned if I don't have two viruses in here. <laughs> yeah, not just one, but two. So, and that's another Nito, old Nito one. That means one's for sale. That means they're going to sell one, that's for sure. That means one's up. Uh, some of this stuff's taped up in bags. I gotta get it out. Well, look at there. Lando's in there. Good old, good old Lando from the from back in the day. I'm telling y'all, these these boxes are pretty mixed up. That is, look at that. Is that beautiful or what? It don't look nothing like the critter in the movie, but man, that thing is cool. Uh, let's see. Oh, ho, ho. look what's underneath there. Glow in the dark. That's going to be a marmot. Yeah, glow in the dark, marmot, hedora, hedra, as we say in Texas. Look at that. And and anyway, that, that's cool. That's cool. I really like that. Well, again, if you don't got one, you got to have two of these old. <laughs> I don't know why I have two, but there you go. Uh, probably what I usually do is I like something so much I buy it multiple times, just not realizing. Uh, here, this is crazy. This is an old '70s uh, Davy Crockett, but tell me that don't look like Owen Wilson. Look at his face. It it's pretty amazing how absolutely similar that is. It does. But uh, I don't know if this is Nito or not, or it's the medium-sized Baragon, but that, that's a, it's old. It's vintage. 70s. Vintage like me. So yeah. there it is. That's beauty. Uh, oh, boy. Look at this. Bear model. He's the, he, he's, I, I love him because he's just like me, a little older and a little fatter, and he looks happy. I love that. That is a great sculpt. Look at that sun gun. And those colors together are fantastic. Man, those, those colors are fantastic. So he's great. Hey, keep on digging. Hell, yeah, nothing like having an old Batman in there. Blow mold, bootleg bat, red Batman. With tr with a blue trash bag cape, uh, that's solid gold. Uh, some kind of here's some uh here's some <laughs> holy cow! Look at there, got an old '70s Frankenstein glow in the dark. Pretty darn cool. Uh, wow! Look at there. I mean, damn. Maybe he, maybe, uh, maybe I got his other eye. There's a, there's a gold Hedra and he got a, he's got a glitter eye. There's one eye that's ain't there. So maybe, maybe that eye fell out and it's in there. 
Or maybe he's supposed to be the one that got a dead eye. I don't know. These are little robots, but they're too tiny. Even I can't see them up here. Y'all sure won't be able to see them. This is a, a medium-sized Nito Gaios. That thing is really, really cool. And I, I, I just love the old colors that they used on there. Here, here is absolute beautiful thing. Absolute. This, this is the prettiest thing in that whole tub. Look at this. Marmot, Ghidra, blue and gold and pink. That's he's the got, vinyl paradise. He, yeah, and he's got dust on him. And uh, that's breathtaking to me. That that thing is. Is that's as pretty as it gets. Do you remember anything about when you got these? Or was, <laughs> at different times. Yeah. This is not just. Yeah. Long. Oh no, this would have been all. Uh, <laughs> see, things got jumbled around. You know, like you change one tub out or take one, something out of something, or I'd, maybe I had some of it displayed. This has got dust on it, so I had it displayed, and uh, and at one one time or another, when we moved, it would have got packed up and. Usually you're looking for to fill a box with the right amount of stuff and you know you just you, you get what you get, you know. Um that pretty much clears that box out. Uh this is uh Megaloman. Does it Popey make them? I can't remember. But anyway, they're made back in the seven late seventies uh vinyl. And, uh, let's see if we, there, I don't know who made this thing, but it, I ain't got no glasses. It's all in Japanese anyway. But anyway, that thing, uh, <laughs> that Captain Ultra is dynamite. That thing is great. Look how weird he looks. Look at that head inside that dome. I like Spaceman stuff anyway, so if it's, if it's space, and it's Captain Ultra. I love it. Uh, here is from... These are actually vinyl uh, with rollers from uh, uh, Dragon Riders of the Sticks. You had a figure that fit inside of there. And I was looking in this box. There's two of them. Uh, and that ain't saying... I, I, I don't hardly sell anything Dragon Riders of the Sticks. But um, even if I got to... <laughs> Here's a big red Pulgasari from Marmot. And another I, that's a great figure. That color is fantastic on that thing. Let's see here. I'll try to get some more of these out here. Have the Hukakudo man eat what do they call them things? Diatrema. Yeah, Diatrema. But man-eating bird, which uh, what was that word they found all them human bones in a in a with one of these in one of these nests like it was in Argentina or something like that or maybe it's in Florida I can't remember but I I read the story where they found the remains of one of these with a whole bunch of humans that it had ate hmm. and had in this cave and everything yeah you know people always try they 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 got to have proof that all that happened. I already know it did. I don't have to, you don't have to show me no fossils. I got imagination. This a god dog beautiful big old friggin' uh Astro Mons, my favorite kaiju. I mean, he just man, breathtaking. I love that sucker. That's a Max Toy one. I have the I have the, the purple one that came out before this. I can't remember. I don't remember who made what, but I like it. That's what matters. And floating around down in here is an old 60s uh, 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 Colossus Rex Bendy from the color forms. So that's why I say my boxes are fun, y'all. I know I'm disorganized, but man, it sure makes it fun when you're going through them. Hey, look at there. There's another one. I got three. <laughs> There's three of them suckers down in there. And I have another one sitting in my office, so I got I got more than that. Uh, another color forms. Oh, there's the big boy right there. 
Astro Nautilus from Color Forms. Everybody used to hunt them things. I don't know if they're still real collectible like they were, but man, them used to be. Big mojo right there. I love that sucker. Uh, here's a glow in the dark. Um, Guilala? Isn't that what you call him? Guilala? From what, X from. Outer, outer space. space, yeah. X from outer space, yeah. What great movie. Love that figure. That especially the glow one. That's my favorite, the glow one. I think I've had other colors. I got a yellow one in my office. It's just solid yellow. And then uh Megaloman again. Another bad guy from Megaloman. I say bad guy, they're just monsters just trying to be monsters, and Megaloman sitting there trying to kill them, you know. I mean, give them a break. Or let them eat people, whatever. <laughs> That's a big old Giron. Giron's one of my favorite guys. I mean, you're a samurai. Remember how he, he has a way he stands on it, but anyway, little blue, little blue. Uh, it's a gamma a day because we're getting a lot of gamma stuff. And no, no, we ain't gonna go without a glow one. There's a glow in the dark, Giron. That that is pretty. You don't think that's pretty? Turn off the dang show. Cause it it is too pretty. Uh, Keep digging here. Oh boy. We got a Godzilla. You know what year that's from? I don't know. I can't. It's a marmot. But uh, I don't know what what movie that's from. Um, it ain't that I don't watch all the movies. I just can't remember one face from another when I'm doing it. But, but that sure is pretty though. I don't know. Exactly. Who it is, what it is, what it's from. Uh, another Godzilla. Now I know that's a bear model. A little chunky sucker. He's great. He's great. He could, he, uh, he seems like he's supposed to have something with him. I don't know. I could be wrong. Oh, there's Megalo Man to fight all the bad guys. So there he is with his luscious locks. I love that character. That's a good show. You should everybody should watch that show. That's a good, good 70s show. Uh boy, we were in the Girons, and here's another one. Clear Giron. Absolutely awesome. I can't get can't get much better than that right there. Look at that. That that I, I don't know if they did they make the vinyl yellow or did the vinyl turn yellow, the clear vinyl. I don't know, but that, that is a pretty kind of a tea stain looking. I kind of like it better if it is. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, how, however, it turned out, I sure do like it. That was neat. That is cool, cool, cool. Uh, this big sucker, um, man, uh, I think that's from, uh, uh, oh, what's that damn show? Uh, we were just talking about it the other night. I can't remember. Uh, anyway, sure is cool. Um, oh, y'all know he's blue and he looks like a dang. Uh, you know, he's got he got like a cross on top of his head. Uh, not Mirror Man. No, uh, kind of. It reminds you of Mirror Man, but it, it's not. They, they had an episode with Godzilla in it. That's the way I always. Uh, Zone fighter. Zone fighter. That's a, this is a zone fighter bad guy. So there it is. And that is a complex figure right there. I like the way the head comes out like in an odd, mm. like it ain't straight up and down. It come, That other head comes out in an odd way. And then, yeah. of course, you got a big flower. Mm -hmm. And I love a flower monster. Yeah, that reminds me of a, sculpt, uh, a sculpture philosophy. I can't remember the sculptor's name, but when he's designing uh, creatures for like iron king and things like that the the kaijin or uh he would had a asymmetrical design 
to it and one side represented like death another life and that i'm kind of seeing that oh going with yeah him, with the flower being life another side being a little bit of, on the death side man i don't know that sure is cool i i love all the bumps it has so much detail it makes me want to paint like one like in in high detail yeah because you got all those little cracks and bumps and stuff and i feel like they've just been wasted up in there but but that's definitely a figure uh, after your own heart because you love anything that's like monster and plant I do I do I don't know what they call that but I love it let's see that's about all that's about all of note I mean unless you want to see a uh, a giant uh... <laughs> oh, oh, oh yeah there we go there's a good one oh wait that's from uh uh, Mock Baron or, or, or Red Baron, one or the other. Mock Baron. Mock Baron. Great little friggin' figure right there. High dollar these days. I got lots of these little robots. Uh, they're floating around in different boxes. But anyway, I just wanted to put together a little uh, a little show and say, hey, maybe, maybe I'll come through here and and uh, and do some more boxes for y'all. You know, from time to time, I get so many people ask for. You know, a little show and tail action, and I don't mind doing it I, as long as I it, get, it gets me in here going through stuff, and uh, and then when we have our little Thursday night auctions, I can I can add to it with my doubles <laughs> later. <laughs>